What's up everybody, we're back with another video, this is Top 10 Worst Animal Skeletons from Salmonella. Let's check it out. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Oi, oi, oi. Shh, 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 shh. Hey kids, as we all know, the evolution of species is an incredible process. God, I didn't shit thick dog, you that fish booty. Why, didn't, why am I doing this? And by little more than the random chance that certain mutations may happen to provide a practical advantage in a creature's environment. And as a result, there's a lot of things out there that look super dumb once you strip back a few layers. Here's the top 10 worst animal skeletons of all time. Ooh. So first and foremost, I'd like to settle a little debate I've been seeing floating around the past few weeks. Yes, penguins do, in fact, have knees. But in order to hide full-grown legs into one plump cylinder, you gotta have a little skeletal trickery on your side. You guys ever do wall sits in gym class or elsewhere? One of the most torturous exercises out there. I now feel even worse for penguins, because not only did they have to deal with living in a frigid black and white hellscape, the most hostile environment known to man second only to the vacuum of space, all the while constantly pursued by ravenous bloodthirsty sea dogs, but they're also secretly doing wall sits their entire life. Quick side note, in man- Penguins are slavs? Hey, my brothers. Mandarin, I didn't know that shit. Consists of the character I did not know they were doing the fucking- the Slav squad during their entire lifetime? Yo, these motherfuckers probably have them crazy ties though. Hey. Is for business goose, which is fucking hilarious. Like one day a goose put on a suit and said, Today it is time to make a name for myself, honk. This next guy is known honk. as Parsons Chameleon, found in the more remote regions of Madagascar. The Notice the fleshy protuberances around its nose area. Turns out, not fleshy, not even remotely fleshy, not even one flesh. Instead, it just has a skull forever frozen in time in the middle of exploding. Like it sneezed right in the middle of God, shaping it out of clay, and he was just like, Ah, whatever, it's a feature now. So for that, this it's rough headed gets number feature, nine. Yeah. Normally I would have ranked it higher, but that's a dope tale, so he gets some pity points. Next is the puffer fish. So for most of my life, I've pictured puffer fish as just not having any bones. I know it doesn't really make sense, but neither does them turning into a balloon like a goddamn cartoon. Turns out, in their normal state, they actually look like this. And when they inflate, those concentric rings of spines slide outwards past one another to cover the full area, like the aperture of a camera lens expanding to cover the full frame of the fish. The sheer ingenuity of this design has shattered my child childhood dream of real life balloon animals which is earned the puffer fish oh bro can you imagine eating a fucking puffer fish you probably have bone stuck coming out your ass making your ass bleed for the rest of your entire fucking existence yep yeah, buddy yeah, good luck cleaning that motherfucker. It's the number eight spot on this list. Now, if you've gotten around to certain zoological circles, you've been shown this skull and been told, ah, yes, that comes from the dwarf elephant. Oh, you've never seen one? That's because, uh, they're extinct. And that thing in the middle? Ah, yes, nothing more than the nose hole to which the trunk connects. However, if you're a rational, free-thinking adult like me, you can look past the lies spoon-fed to you by Nat Geo and other liberal Ooh. media outlets and see this for what it is. A cyclops. A cyclops. Next is the orca. Otherwise known I as fucking knew it. My boy and my mind and his mind are fucking connected. Their liberal media outlets and see this for what it is. A cyclops. A cyclops. Next is the orca, otherwise known as the killer whale, the panda torpedo, or the sea world slave. Its skeleton is fairly normal at first glance, but check out this little thing under here. That little bony blip is actually all that remains of the legs and pelvis of the orca from when it evolved from land <laughs> animals. Personally, I think that's highly disrespectful to their ancestors. Like, they could have taken the seal route and used those legs for good in the water, but instead, these sea cowards said, no thanks, we're gonna undo all that evolution. And just be bigger, smarter, warmer fish again. But hey, we'll keep this little piece of nothing just to remember you guys by. <laughs> Truthfully, I could have chosen almost any cetacean to pick on for this, but the orca's face also reminds me of SCP-682, which is the most OP overrated shit out there, so he gets the number six spot. Moving on, now bear with me here. In every other mammal on Earth, the canine teeth point downward from the gum to the mouth. Oh, you no. know, like a tooth. But this guy, known as the Babarusa, said, huh, and decided to have them grow up through the entirety of its fucking 
snoot and out the other end, which is the most nonsensical thing I've ever seen. Like, hmm, toenails out the front? How cliche. Oh, don't do it. Let's don't make do it. go through the whole foot instead. <laughs> Look, now I can kick good behind me. That's uh -huh. not all, though. These tusks also keep growing for the creature's entire life, which isn't a problem in and of itself, right? Rodents, they keep chewing stuff to wear them down. Alligators, they just let them fall out now and then. But the Babarus is like, Pfft. Yeah, what would this thing do to fucking... Get them out, bash its head into a fucking tree. Uh, it might, li might fucking commit suicide. Would probably be a fucking happier life than living like this. Jesus I'll just Christ. nut in a lady pig long before this becomes an issue. So if it lives long enough, the teeth can curve right on around and slowly bore into the thing's face, like built-in Chinese bamboo torture. And occasionally, they can end up actually piercing the skull and shish-kebabbing the brain. Now some people might say that this doesn't belong on this list, given that teeth aren't technically bones. And to those people, kids, we say, Eat Fuck shit you. and die. Next we have the octopus. Whoa, the octopus whoa. <laughs> Kebabbing the brain. <gasps> now, some people might say that this doesn't belong on this list, given that teeth aren't technically bones. <laughs> and to those that. people, kids, we say, eat shit and die. <laughs> Next we have the octopus. Uh, the I want to read those things, though. Teeth are considered part of the skeletal system, but they are not counted as bone. Teeth are not bones, but they are still part of the human skeletal system. The enamel on your teeth, which are consistent Consider that part of your skeletal system. Okay. Next we have the octopus. The octopus skeleton is so bad that it doesn't even exist. Sure, they got this little thing in the middle, but that doesn't count. That's just chitin. And yeah, they can get in a jar or whatever. But at what cost? At the animal picnics, the crowd shouts, Bleh, shun the spineless freak. And at the animal wheelbarrow races, with nothing to grab hold of, the cephalopod holds a solitary vigil at the starting line. And lo, the octopus wins naught but a participant medal at the Grand Prix and the number four spot on this list. Moving on, here's the skeleton of a fruit bat. Now, not a big deal to us regular folk, but imagine if humans had no context of bats and they dug this thing up. Like, <laughs> class, archaeologists have recently found these fossilized remains, and using modern technology, we can see exactly what it would have looked like. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> like back when it was alive. This abominable creature is known only to scientists. Why are you giving titties, bruh? Look at that fucking titties, my guy. Finger boy, and it's theorized to have fed upon fruit, insects, and the dreams of orphans, which it would Finger siphon down from the ears boy. of the errant little waifs whilst they slumbered. By the way, if you Google image bat skeleton, like more than half of them have the ears built in, just like, hmm, I feel the extraordinarily <laughs> bat-like wings and figure of our decoration are much too subtle for our consumers. Better slap these on. At number two, we have the anteater. From its oboe-like skull to its gorilla fist and hands, one That's can only wonder bad. who let this creature exist. Fun fact, if you take the anteater's skull and blow into its nose, it plays a beautiful song recounting the animal's entire life, and then security escorts you out of the museum. Looking at this, I can only pose the question asked for generations long before my own. That being, why the long face? Before we get to the number one spot, here's a few honorable mentions. The wolf eel. Oof. The ostrich. Oof. This human-cat hybrid I found on a tabloid site. And of course, the mermaid. So at our number one spot, we have... This creature, that's, uh, that's supposed to be a mirror. I know most of you can't see yourself in it on account of your filthy Dorito smeared screen, so just take my word for it. So what's wrong with humans, you ask? Well, a lot of things, but for now, let's stick to the skeleton. First, I saw some disgusting shit, so I need to go back. Oh, bitch, god damn. Ugh, furries. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I chase a network. Which you are using can find where you are now, so don't block, don't ignore, okay, how old are you, should I trace you, yes or no, okay, rip What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> Should I trace you? No, yes or no, okay, rip you next week. <laughs> well, a lot of things, but for now, let's stick to the skeleton. First off, these bones right here, these are known as the metatarsals. All part of the foot, right? No, that's a bunch of primate propaganda. In most other groups of land mammals, what we'd consider our ankles is actually the quote-unquote knee of the animal. Thanks a lot, walking upright. Also, it's estimated that around 80% of people will experience chronic back pain at some point in their life. Thanks a lot, walking upright. Lastly, probably something you've heard about at some point, our skull to pelvis ratio. For most animals, giving birth, not a big deal. Small heads, wide hips, <whistles> mazel tov. But check out the big brain on bread. 
throws a real monkey wrench in the works there. For a while, it led to some problems, till those extra brains figured out how to work around it. So I guess you win this round, humans. But that doesn't stop you from also winning the number one spot on the worst skeletons of all time. But hey, <laughs> just because you'll forever be flawed on the inside doesn't mean you can't improve yourself on the outside. That's why you need to try Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 25,000 classes in design, business, technology, Okay, I think we've seen enough ads on Skillshare for a lifetime. Don't you all got don't you all agree? Whew, this was an interesting video. Yes. Let me know what y'all think. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, buddy. Have a nice day. Oh, I didn't click